What's up, everyone? For the one Itachi here, you know what it is. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Today, we're getting an inside Overwatch look on the Sounds of Paris. Paris is a new map that will be coming to Overwatch. And for those of you that do enjoy our Overwatch content, thank you very much. Leave a like on the video, post down below in the comment section, and of course, check out the description box. And if you're new around here, Hit the subscribe button. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the sounds of Paris. So first thing that comes into mind with this map is Widowmaker. And before that, how many freaking ledges there are in Paris's map for Widowmaker to freaking smash people? So when we found out we were going to be representing Paris in Overwatch, we immediately thought, well, we're going to have to get some authentic sounds from that area. So we made uh, contacts to Blizzard's Versailles office, and they were fantastic to work with. They spotted locations around the city, contacted a field recordist, and went out with them in the field to go capture the sounds that we couldn't get ourselves. We're always trying to be super unique. That's authentic. Of, uh, signature sounds, especially for hero design. When it comes to map audio, uh, it's very much just like a creating a bed that you get to play in. It's part of the immersion. It helps set the player so that they feel like they're in the world, but that if you were to idle your screen and sit there for 30 minutes, you would never be annoyed by it. It should be something that is just so part of the environment. That's just true. You feel so immersed in it that you don't realize that it was there. This map looks absolutely when I amazing. I visited Paris 25 years ago. I, I recognize it as a very, very busy city. People living life is, is kind of the, the way I view Paris. Uh, everyone enjoying the plazas and the parks and strolling on the sidewalks. That's kind of the Paris that we wanted to capture. And when you play in our maps, you'll notice you never see any people, but they're living maps. Everything's happening a block away, two blocks away. It sounds like everything's just beyond your view. The sound of Paris that I didn't expect was pigeons. If you're going to do Paris, you got to have pigeons. So Parisian, so iconic. <laughs> I didn't expect to use them, but ended up putting them in because it just felt a little bare without them. You know, for the most players, the map, um, they may not have been there and wouldn't know whether we did our job right, but for the people that live there, we try to make sure that we represent their, their home as authentically as possible. Well, I didn't have much to react to with that. I was actually pretty quick. I was expecting more of us being able to hear the sounds of the Paris map. But uh, they gave us a little bit of a description on how they came up with and what they did to create the sound of the Paris map. And what they do with all the other maps on Overwatch. And it's pretty cool. Um, the Paris map looks probably by far one of my favorite maps that they put into the game. The architecture and everything that they did with it. The lighting, the fixtures, the sounds, I hope. And of course, Widowmaker and the ledges. Oh my gosh. I've, I've, I've seen some stuff and it, it, it's going to be lit, team. It's going to be lit. Catch you guys next time. Peace out.